Hi my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess of Bahati Life and currently we are sitting at my altar. Now this pick a card reading that we're gonna be doing today is going to be focused on what we are manifesting and it's also going to be guided to help to show us not only what we're manifesting, but what we can do to help along the process and the messages that we need to hear to help as we move forward. Now, this reading is gonna be timeless, but it is inspired by the Virgo new moon that's gonna be happening on August 30th of 2019. I considered asking our angels and our guides if I wanted to focus on how we can be of service to others, but I think because of the way that this year has kind of unfolded, up until this part, up until this point, I actually want to switch my question up. Especially when I came to my altar, I felt like so many of you guys are in a space where you kind of need to be filled because you've been doing so much. You've been really doing a lot of energy work and spiritual work, not only for others, but also on yourself and how exhausting that can be. And then I, remem I remembered why I started Bahati Life and the motto of Bahati Life, which is to be in service to others and to the divine. And that is what I wanted to come to my altar today. And that was what I was called to my altar today, was to be in service to you guys and to help you along the way. So that's what we're gonna be focusing on currently. I have four different cards here. I thought I was gonna do three, but as I was sitting at my altar, the I just kept getting a fourth card. I kept getting a fourth card and I figured that there should be four piles instead of three. So I was just going to respond to that and listen to that. Also, if you see me playing with a crystal while I'm doing this reading, it is my carnelian. This has been my go-to lately. I've been carrying this around me a lot because I've been doing my own personal healing and this has been grounding me and helping me to heal that sacral and root chakra stuff that's been coming up for me. So if you see me playing with this, that's just why. I did post on my Instagram the card pools, so I'm gonna give you guys a moment to look at the picture that I posted on my Instagram as soon as I'm done. The timestamps will be down below, so you can go ahead and dive right into your message and your, your reading. That's pretty much it, let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so for my number ones, we have Impatience calmness the cat it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over dependency on others the goose take time to rest and recuperate rather than continuing your striving your children are watched over by angels the sacral chakra redwood ancient teachings and orchid sexual energy now the first thing i'm getting from this is what's manifesting in your life Fifth house matters. We're seeing an ability right now in your life, a heightened focus on your ability to give and receive pleasure for your when it's appropriate for yourself and for others. This could be through romance and intimacy. It could be through your passion projects and your creativity, your, your creative expression. I'm definitely seeing and feeling a lot of connection to music, sight, art, sound, through expression. There's a lot of expression that's coming through through with these cards. For some reason, when I'm looking at the orchid with sexual energy and the redwood ancient teachings, I'm seeing for a good, a small portion of you, there is a connection to healing trauma. And it doesn't have to be sexual related, but it does have to deal with intimacy and your ability to connect intimately with another person and also for you to connect intimate intimately with your within yourself and also with the divine and I'm seeing that something that is helping you at the time of the Virgo new moon is to connect with and maybe it's not the Virgo new moon because I did say that this video is going to be timeless but something that you're focusing on now is your ability to stop separating yourself from yourself <laughs> if that makes any sense I feel like I don't know why this is coming through but I see a person you being all of these fractured pieces and sometimes we look at those fragments those fractures and we say oh my gosh i'm broken i'm a broken individual and we look at that as such a bad thing but it's it's truly not all of those different pieces 
all make up who you are. And what I'm seeing is you looking at that, not as an imperfect being, but as all of these aspects of myself, from my experiences, from my traumas, from these high moments, to, from these low moments, all of them are helping me to express the realness, the, authentic, the authenticity of who I am. And the best way for you to work with that is to not look at those broken aspects of yourself that don't even make sense and you're like, how can I put it all together? Don't try to box yourself in. Learn how to express that. Learn how to channel it and to sing it out. It reminds me of people who have a song on their heart that's so strong that they actually go to the street and they have a microphone and they sing it out to the world. Like we, sometimes people walk by and they're like, why are they doing that? They must be in need of money. But some people have such a strong heart and such a gift that that is the best way for them to express it and to share that with the world. And people will sit and listen to the beauty of this, the song that they're singing and the lyrics that they're singing. So that's what I'm seeing for you, my love, is when, it, when I see calmness and impatience, and I'm seeing the orchid and sexual energy and ancient teachings, you have a tremendous gift of expression. Even if you're not known to be an artistic person or to be a creator, you still have a light that comes from the fifth house, the sacral chakra, that is called within you to be expressed. And it's not meant to make sense to you or make sense to everyone, but it is meant to be expressed and it is creative, it is brilliant, it is light. So, and through that, I'm seeing no judgment. Sometimes we look at this as impatience. When I see impatience and I see calmness, I'm actually seeing you embracing these different sides of yourself, these, cre these totally different parts of yourself and expressing them in their different ways and somehow they all come together. And by doing that, not only are you healing yourself, but you are stepping into your purpose in a lot of ways effortlessly and singing it out and sharing it and you will find calmness in that creativity. You will find self-acceptance within that expression. You will find peace and love and self-worth and value, self-value by not looking at these different sides and, and judging them or throwing them away or being like, this is worthless, this is valueless. No, every aspect of you serves a purpose and helps to make up the magic of who you are. So when I am sitting at my altar and I'm asking your guy, asking the guides, what is it that this person who picked group number one is manifesting within their life and what messages that do they need to hear? They are manifesting intimacy, deep intimacy, not only with themselves, but with the divine and also the ability to express that intimacy, to express that magic within themselves with the world. It could be through journaling, music, art, movement, there's a lot of different things that I can see here. And I think that you striking out on your own and making that time for yourself, that sacred time for yourself, that you really have to sit out to, to go into that space of calmness. When we see the goose, the goose card and it says, take time to rest and recuperate rather than continue with your striving, I see this, and then we see the cat card right next to that saying it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. I'm seeing you actually disconnecting from these expectations, disconnecting from your normal responsibilities to make time to spend with your children, to make time for pleasure, to make time for creativity, and for expressing what's going on in the sacral chakra and the heart chakra. So that's what I'm seeing, and you finding a lot of calmness within that and peace within that. When I see the word calm and the goose here, talking about, you know, stop striving and resting, I'm seeing you connecting to peace through your personal expression and it's gonna be truly like an explosion. So what it is that you can do right now, I'm seeing the Emperor and the Two of Cups. Now, the Emperor is all about leadership, masculine energy, but it's also about independence. In, in some way, it's about independence and calling back your time, calling back your personal power and claiming your personal power. And when I'm seeing the Two of Cups, I'm seeing you connect intimately with aspects within yourself, to connect intimately with people, like a certain partner, especially when it comes to um, sexual energy, if that's what you feel called to do, and with the sacral chakra. So I'm seeing you pairing up intimately with, um, and that doesn't mean sex, you know what I mean? But it's like intimate, like being there present and listening and expressing yourself and connecting in that way 
and it's it is very much you know hands-on sometimes like that's the other thing too look at these two people they really are holding hands and in both ways they're holding hands here and they're facing each other but they're also connecting with their hands here so there's definitely that for some of you guys you're definitely connecting and manifesting that strong partner but you're you're calling it in for yourself that masculine energy but you all also might be calling in independence for yourself and strength for yourself so that you can heal those aspects with yourself and you um, join them together in union and for others this is totally non-sexual of course but this is spending time and play with children you know what i mean just like uh, like watching kids as they play and they don't even question their play they just if they love it and they're enjoying it and it makes them feel good then they're doing it they don't care what the rest of the world is saying or what the rest of the world is doing they're just enjoying themselves as silly as that is so there's a lot of messages here that I'm seeing for those that picked number one, and I'm hoping that that resonates. But what I'm definitely seeing for you, what's being manifested is um, play, pleasure, joy, independence, making time for yourself, calling in that space of time for yourself, and learning from from children and, and ob observing them in a way that inspires you, if that makes any sense. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to group number two. Okay, for group number two, we have true love, we have empowerment, the tortoise, you're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. We see the dog, your loyalty and faithfulness is misplaced by serving too many masters. We see this is your life purpose. Focus upon divine perfect health, which is ruled by Virgo energy. Cut your cords and storm. Resolve conflicts and walnut transition initiation. For some reason, I feel, I don't know why, but I'm feeling such a tremendous surge of energy here. And what I'm seeing is a person, I don't know if it's the storm or what, it's a person who's stepping really powerfully into what they choose, what they want. I know that with this card of true love, sometimes we think about partnership, we think about another person, but even as I'm reading this card, it says your wholeness and safety lie within, not from a partner. But this sovereignty actually leads to the deepest intimacy for you to stop using others. Let me stand on my own feet, dear Lord, and know true love. I'm seeing you calling in your power. For some reason, when I see the word cut your, or when I see the card cut your cords, focus upon divine and perfect health, and this is your life purpose, I'm seeing you standing up for yourself. I'm seeing you say, this is what I choose. This is what I want. I am not gonna be defined by others' expectations. This is my purpose. This is who I am. And I'm seeing you cutting the cords to that. That's probably where this storm is coming from, this energy is coming from. If you see a storm raging, that's what I'm seeing for you guys. It's then that is where your empowerment is coming from. Is that it's not, you know, I don't know if this is sometimes we compromise ourselves in certain relationships or we compromise for certain relationships or certain things. But there comes a point when that storm starts brewing and building. It's the perfect recipe for the perfect storm. And now you are calling all of your power back to you and say, I rule me. I am the executive um, director of my life. I call the shots. I call all of my power back to me. That is what is going to help me to step into my life purpose. That is what is going to help me focus on perfect health, perfect divine health, not only for my physical body, but for my mental, spiritual, emotional self. I call all of this in. When I'm seeing the tortoise here, it says, you're too fragmented, so do whatever it takes to get grounded. I'm seeing you pulling your power in and not I say locking yourself in a way that makes you stubborn or, or resistant to change because there's a lot of change that's you know been happening around you I don't think that you're not open to it I think you're actually excited for change but when I see you're too fragmented so do whatever it takes to get grounded and your loyalty and faithfulness is, me pl is misplaced by serving too many ma masters I'm seeing again you coming back and you calling all of your power back to you now and that is what is going to create balance for you that is what's going to move you in alignment with your life purpose and with those who 
are meant to be, that serve a purpose to be with you, to walk alongside you in your life. Sometimes what we do, or we find that we um, find make these connections. Maybe we're connected in our careers, um, or we're doing root chakra jobs, or root chakra relationships, and those those things or those habits, those lifestyles, they don't allow us to ascend to the next level. So what I'm seeing for my number two is you actually stepping into a space where you are cutting those cords. I'm seeing you learning how not to be afraid of conflict, that you are learning how you are not, your purpose is not to make everybody like you. Your purpose is not to make everybody happy. Your purpose is to step into your power and to give yourself a chance and to make sure that what you're saying yes to is in alignment with you and that you're not just serving all of these things and being subservient to all of these things, all these people and you know being at everyone's beck and call. That is going to be what empowers you. That is what is going to connect you to true love. You don't have to you know, roll over on your back and serve everyone and everything. What I'm seeing when I sit at my altar and I ask for you guys, what is it that you're manifesting? You are manifesting your true life's purpose, not only in your career, but in your relationships, in your health, in your vibrancy, in your self-expression, your, your place in this world. Those are things that you're calling in and you're manifesting right now. And anything that does not serve you and does not strengthen you and does not build you up, definitely root chakra energy here. If it does not serve you, um, it has to be cleared out. It has to be released. You cannot be moving anymore from spaces or relationships that are destructive to you that make you stay in a space because you are afraid of what is to come. You are totally transitioning. You are totally moving on to the, this next stage, this next wave within your life. And that is what is going to connect you to true love and to perfect health. Health does not mean physical health only where you're feeling, you know, um, thriving there it, even though that's another thing too that I see for you but I'm seeing it healthy relationships and all things and being independent and not having to run when someone says for you to, to come running that's what I think with the dog card sometimes we look at the dog and we're like look at his at, we admire his loyalty but sometimes you know who is the master that you're serving and that's a big question I think that you need to ask yourself the other thing is that um, are you being fulfilled? I want to ask you. I want to ask you with root chakra. Do you feel do you feel fulfilled within your life right now? And if the answer is no, then I think that it's time for you to cut those cords that are not fulfilling you and to give yourself a chance. And that is a part of this transition and initiation moving forward. I think that you calling the shots is going to rub some people the wrong way, but remember that you are not of service to others like your your purpose in life is not to make everybody happy that's just not even realistic so i'm seeing you calling the shots in all of your relationships and i love the card that and i love that the fact that this card came out for you true love because true love is not you being a doormat if you are always there for everyone and if you're always a doormat to everybody is that truly true love or are you just a convenience so what is it that you're manifesting personal power <laughs> Personal power, strength, um, moving into a space of, of you know independence and empowerment, being supported by the, the universe, not allowing yourself to use others and you not allowing others to use you. And how can you do that? Well, for you, we have the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. Now, this is a creative person who has what it takes. And if they create, if they channel that energy, that personal power into focused intention, they can do anything. So that's what I'm thinking and that's what I'm seeing you doing is you're journaling all of your notes, you're capturing all of your ideas, you're, you're writing down the things that you need to say. Some of these things that you need to say to others are not things that you'll be able to say to them. Maybe this is people, especially when it says cut those cords, maybe this is people who have passed or a generational a generational situation that you need to write it down in order to cut yourself and to release yourself from it and you need to do that with passion you need to do that from your heart you need to hold nothing back so 
and maybe you have fear. Maybe there is a real punishment if you were to say the thing that you need to say, but it still needs to get off of your heart. That cord still needs to be cut for your own personal empowerment and for you to receive love and for you to receive power and for you to receive strength, personal strength. But I see you taking that time out and really putting that energy and that effort in in order to manifest some incredible strength for yourself. That's what man that's what's manifesting for you. And I see it benefiting your work and your life purpose. Okay? And your sense of self and your sense of value. But this all starts with I am. This is what I choose. This is what I want. I will not be defined. I will not be molded. What would happen if you chose to have if you let if you chose to leave it all behind? What would happen if you chose to put yourself first? And that is a part of essentially cutting those cords. What would happen if you put yourself first? Ask yourself that. And why haven't you done that yet? <laughs> Okay, so let's move on to my number threes. All right, for those that picked number three, we have the truth. Damn, I just wanna sit with that for a second. When everything is done, ugh, when everything is done as an offering, even the act of speaking, you get shown when to talk and when to be silent. Your words come from silence, not fear. You do the talking, dear Lord. Take me over and speak through me. Wow. Mistakes. Allow me to know it's okay to make mistakes. Let me always take care of the inner child so he or she feels loved no matter what. Okay, the first thing, the first thing with this is you are worthy of being forgiven. There is compassion that is, I don't want to say owed to you, but needs to be given to you. Do you feel like others are being compassionate with you? And are you being compassionate with yourself? I also feel like, for some reason, I feel like journaling. I feel like you need to write a letter to yourself or write a letter to someone else, but definitely to yourself, of the things that you feel like you've done wrong. And I need you to ask yourself why you did it and then respond to yourself within that letter and say, this is why I did it. I did it because I was scared. I did, did it because I was alone. I did it because I felt is I isolated. I did it because I felt weak. I did it because I needed this. And when you hear yourself saying the truth of that, forgive yourself for needing what you needed when you needed it. Like, I really want you to hear that message. And then when it comes to another person, I think there is forgiveness that needs to happen. If you're lucky, it's through communication. You're, you have the ability to communicate with them and talk to them. But for some of you guys, you won't be able to, and that's why it's silent. That's why the, you won't be able to hear it because it's silent. Maybe they passed on or maybe you're not in a position to connect to someone that you need to forgive. Or maybe there's a disconnection in some way or within maybe it's within yourself and maybe you're not sure. Maybe you don't know what needs to be said. Maybe you don't know what needs to be heard. But if that's, if there's someone that you need to forgive, again, this is that, that letter of truth where you write it down and you say, like, this hurt me, man. Like, when this happened, this hurt me. And when I, without even looking at the rest of the cards, I don't even know what else is going on here, but without even looking at the rest of the cards, what I see you manifesting is peace and freedom, personal freedom, mental freedom. There is anguish that is being lifted off of your heart. There is peace that is replacing it. There is clarity that is coming through, and that is not something that needs to be rushed. It's something that needs to be comforted. It's something that needs to be held and not rushed past or not seen. It needs to be seen. It needs to be expressed. Okay. Gorilla, take time to listen compassionately to those you love, especially the family members. So I don't know if this is healing with the family or healing, you know, generational type things. Cheetah, Get clear on your intention. Stay focused and move quickly to achieve to achieve your goal. Even as I'm hearing the word, seeing the word quickly, I don't think that it's truly quick. Although for some of you guys, you may actually send a quick text message and say, you know what, I forgive you. Sometimes that's enough. I forgive you and I love you. Um, but I do see this as moving with focused intention. What is it that you're trying to get out of? What is, what is it that you need? 
What is your purpose? What are you doing? Well, we'll I'll dive into that a little bit further. Oh, wow. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. Wow. And I want to read the prayer. I ask that you help me let go of self-blame and forgive myself. Please guide me in releasing any toxic anger or fear towards others. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for allowing me to feel centered at a, and at peace. That's really important. That's really, that's really powerful. Earth Angel, you are a light worker who has come to Earth to teach about love. Oh, God. Wow. I'm feeling this. And then we have ferns, new wonders, ice, frost, static conditions. And then we have sage, spirit contact. The first thing that I want to, that, well, not the first thing, because I already said the first thing. But the next thing I want to say that is coming through is that there is a feeling here that I'm feeling where it's like the angels are coming through with the truth and saying, you know what, we understand um, that your journey and your path has not been the most easiest. Maybe it's been your whole life, maybe it's been this past year, but it's almost like, you know, everything serves a purpose, but with empathy they say, I'm sorry that you're feeling this way. I'm sorry that things have been this way. Now, for some of us, it's like we have these soul contracts, these things that we have to experience within our lives to be a part of the ascension of the global consciousness. And the weight and the burden that you as an earth angel, you as a physical human being, will take on emotionally, spiritually, physically sometimes. It's so important for you to have balance, but it's so important for you to, I don't want to say retreat, but it's so important for you to rely on spirit and to continue to release these things, these um, moments, by forgiving by observing them and, and reminding yourself that you've done nothing wrong. And I'm seeing you connecting with family or healing these family issues or feel, healing others that are wounded by their family issues or the experiences that they've gone through. I think it's interesting too that, you know, I think that there's this connection here that I'm seeing that it's, physical physical traumas or physical wounds or battle things that you've been carrying or that you've been experiencing but there's so much spirit contact here literally because it literally says spirit co spirit contact there's a purification that's happening here but there's also a recognition from the spiritual world from your angels from your guides and from those who have passed on that is saying like we are here with you throughout this process and we want to recognize the fact that your journey up until this point has not been the easiest and that in a lot of ways you might be really exhausted and the one thing that people keep telling you is you're so strong you can do it if there's anybody that can do it it's going to be you but at the same time there needs to be recognition of yeah i'm strong but i'm also in this moment i might need some support I, need, I might need some time to release some things. I might need some space to go to my altar and to just rest or to go to someone or something that is sacred to me and that is treasured to me and just be held by that. So what is it that's manifesting within your life right now? Peace, clarity, truth, purification, this, pur this energetic spiritual purification that is happening for you. I don't even see this as total like manifesting physical things as much as it is spiritual things. More clarity, more guidance, more direction, more confirmation on where you're going and that your path is being protected and that you are being protected and that the steps that you're taking are divine and divinely appointed. That's what I'm thinking and I feel like that would give you so much clarity and so much peace right now is to know that all of the things that you've gone through have served a purpose and a reason and I think that th this message is for you to receive that and for you to hear that. You know what I mean? And I think that this, what you're manifesting right now is confirmation that what you're doing and how you have are evolving it's it's almost like you are devoted to something so much bigger than yourself like you really are a, a person who is trying to help others to heal you really are a person who's trying to help yourself heal you really are a person who is trying to help heal your family and your friends and to remind them to do better and to remind your community to, to do better 
And you're teaching them through your own experiences and through what you can observe how to do it. And that's a burden. You really truly are in service. This is like Bahati Life's motto, to be in service to others and the divine. Like that is why I'm doing what I'm doing. That's why I'm called to do this, not because I have anything to gain from it, because I have so much to give. But in that moment, I also need rest. And in that moment, I also need purification. And we see that with sage. When you burn sage, you're not only you're connecting with the spirit world, but you're asking spirit to cut those cords and cleanse the energy in the space for you. Because throughout this journey, throughout this process, as you've been moving like this cheetah, just moving forward, you do a lot in a small amount of time. You have to take these, you have to take these breaks for yourself and cleanse and purify. All right, and then in the meantime, I'm also getting this message that is asking you to call out to manifest unconditional love for yourself too. You know what I mean? Someone or something that comes through at the right time, at the right moment to remind you that you are worthy of receiving, you know, compassion and love just as is, not doing anything more than what it is that you've already done. You're doing a lot regardless. There's this reminder to love without expectations, to love with, with no condition, to love without receiving anything back in return. And I think that you, of all people, I don't know if you're learning that right now, where you're learning that in your past relationships that you may have given a lot of yourself to others. And spirit sees that and they see how your partners, your friendships, your family connections have benefited a lot from your love. But I'm also seeing that it's time for you to forgive yourself and to not take on the burden of that and say like, if I would have done things differently or you know, maybe I was wrong or maybe I, you know, if I was a little bit more this, then maybe that person would have stayed or maybe that thing would have come through. Like, no, there is a part of you that as an earth angel, there's a lot of relationships and connections that are gonna come into your life for the sole purpose of you healing them. But at the same time, you know, forgive your, that is the truth, like that is the truth. That is why the connections don't last or that's why the connection didn't last or that's why that relationship fell apart or whatever. But there's, you know, there's mistakes that they have to make and there's mistakes that you have to, to make in order to evolve and throughout that, forgive them, forgive yourself and continue to move forward. And I'm also seeing you calling out as an earth angel, you are part earth, part spiritual. So there's the angelic side of you that is going to be of service to others. And then the, there's the earth side of you as a human being that has needs that need to be met. Okay, so I'm seeing you receiving that. And that's, I'm thinking, what those new wonders are coming through for you. I'm seeing doors opening for you to continue to heal others and for you to continue to be of service to others in the spiritual realm and, and physical and emotional and mental healing. Maybe you're a psychologist, a counselor, a nurse, um, a, um, a respite worker, but someone who comes to others in moments where they can't fend for themselves. Maybe a social worker, maybe a spiritual worker, Reiki, um, you know, energy work, energy healing. But also at the end of the day, I'm seeing you staging yourself and cleansing yourself. And then moving from that, from that energy work and that angel work into cleansing into human, where you are coming back to your family, coming back to your friends, coming back to enjoy pleasure and joy. And it's very important for you to have that balance. But I'm also seeing some journaling and releasing. And the biggest thing right now is forgive yourself for you've done nothing wrong. You've done nothing wrong. Now, what can you do? Rest. <laughs> There's something about Four of Swords and Nine of Cups. Something about you resting right now and cleansing your space, sending, saging your space and allowing your, your allowing spirit to do the rest of the work while things are kind of static right now. And while things are energetically kind of, um, triggering I'll say when you rest you're gonna receive everything you are 50% spirit and 50% human and both sides of those things are coming to completion now you're about to receive both of what it is that you've been deserving you're going to again it's it's a person who's a part of the spirit world but then sages themselves and comes back into the mundane world and they're able to receive the pleasure of that nine of cups but you need rest Right now, just rest. You need to be held by spirit. You need to be held by those that love you. You need to hold people that you love. Give them hugs and let it linger. <laughs> you know what I mean? Eat food, drink, be happy. 
okay? And don't feel guilty for that because you are 50% the earth, you know, 50% angel and 50% earth, human being. That's who you are, earth angel, walking on planet earth. You and me both, right? <laughs> what a beautiful message, number three. And I think it's really amazing that you picked number three because I see manifestation for you. That's what you're manifesting. It's like balance. Balance within your healing, but also pleasure, man. Like total pleasure. That's what I'm seeing for my number threes. Let's move on to number four. All right. For you, we see aging. I am one with unlimited love beyond all seeming restrictions of age. I am filled with joy, energy, and beauty, a vessel for the divine Shakti. Then we have work. I am now available to receive all who can benefit from my work. Use me to relieve suffering on the planet. May all who need me find me. Whoa. I see you working from home. It's like, may all who need me find me. And for some reason, it's like I'm seeing you working from home. You're working from the safety. You're working from the confines. And it's from a sanctuary. So if it's not you working from home, it's from a sanctuary space that feels like home, it's a sacred space. That's why it's like, may all who need me find me, they're gonna find you. They're gonna find you within your sacred space. They're coming to you. And that's, it's like, that's why it's not so public, you know? It's like, I see you working from home. I don't know why that just came through. Even when I'm seeing this beyond all seeming restrictions, it's a person who is like despite all of the obstacles, despite of all of how much it makes sense and how much it doesn't, it's a, a um, being in a space of the home environment. I don't know why the home environment is coming through. Or maybe it's a work or a space that helps to heal the home environment. The divine is my complete source for all prosperity and will provide. So that's what the rest of that card says. Shark, trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. Falcon. Oh, wow. Look, there's something about these two, too, that they see everything. They are sharp. They are really, truly sharp. And their intention, when they want something, they zoom in, though, don't they? They zoom in and they attack it. Act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it without equivocation. That's a word. I got to Google that one later. <laughs> Trust your instincts to discern the truth and act on the opportunity that's before you and commit to it. A favorable outcome. Thank you for the beautiful outcome to the situation, which is perfect and fair for everyone involved. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for helping me trust and to have faith. Emotional sensitivity. Wow, honor and respect your deep sensitivity as it is a gift to us all. And this I'm seeing as little angel just curled up within the home environment. Again, it's a sanctuary, a safe space. Maybe you feel like you're being attacked. Maybe you feel like you've been caught off guard. Maybe this shark isn't you. Maybe this falcon isn't you. Maybe you feel like you're the prey. Like there is a predator or something and it's coming up on you and you're feeling really kind of attacked. That's something too that, I might, that you might be seeing and feeling right now. Shed the old, spirit is about, and follow your passion. Now, I don't know why, but for some reason, I'm really getting this vibe right now of being in a space, a sanctuary, like a, a space that is safe for you. For me personally, that's my home environment. I feel the most safe when I'm at home, and I do my work while I'm at home. I do my best work when I'm at home, and sometimes when the moon is out, and I was born under a full moon. So it makes a lot of sense to me, like why my energy is so heightened during that time, and I also have 10th house on um, my 10th, my Pisces, well, my Midhaven is in sign of Pisces. So that's why I'm doing the spiritual work. And that's why I like to be kind of pulled away. Like that's kind of me when I'm working. I'm spend a lot of time in a meditation within my sanctuary, within my sacred space here at my altar. And I do my work here. That is my passion. And I work with spirit. So I don't know if that's something that you guys are doing is like you're focusing your intention and you're focusing your work despite the odds, despite the obstacles in order to create. But I'm definitely getting this energy of the sanctuary, the home environment, feeling safe, feeling like you belong, feeling like no one is going to attack you, feel like feeling like you're in a space where you're camouflaged. Sometimes being invisible, I don't know why I feel like saying this, but sometimes being invisible is a blessing. Sometimes not being seen is a blessing. So I'm seeing this as, you know, the right people who need you or the right things that need you, they will find you. 
but outside of that, being invisible and being camouflaged is actually a really good thing. So that's what I'm seeing. I don't know why, but that's what I'm seeing here for you guys is, um, you know, calling in the right connections to work with the right clients, the right people, and linking up with those. But And that is your intention. But at the same time, I'm seeing you being protected right now, needing to be emotionally protected as you follow your passions. And I think that spirit is really protecting you. That is what is manifesting for you as a safe space, a home environment, solitude, a sanctuary, feeling like you belong, knowing that you're doing what it is that you're meant to be doing, and nurturing yourself. I don't know why, but I'm also seeing... For some reason, when I see aging, I'm seeing a person who spends a lot of time at home with their socks on, with their blanket on, with books, with a hot cup of tea. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting with this card, too. So it's not even that it's focusing so much on aging, although that could be a message for you all by itself. But it's like that element of being cozy and supported and not having to do a whole lot and not having to be available or access. Not everyone needs to have access to you. So you finding your space, your your home environment, where that space where you belong, where you have blankets and socks and books and cups of tea, and you're being nourished and you're feeling whole and full and and you know um, provided for. That's what it is I'm seeing, and that is where you're going. When I see the favorable outcome, that's what I'm that's what I'm seeing. When it, whether it's your work, and that's the other thing too. I'm I'm drawn to this justice here. Like that's what you deserve. You know what I mean? And sometimes, you know, those things that are coming out to attack you or those things that feel like you're being attacked or you feel like you're vulnerable, it's good for you to be invisible. It's good for you to be missed by them. And then also, at the same time, it gives you a chance to zero in on what it is that you're manifesting and what it is that you need. Because you are a sensitive person. That's not, that's not a bad thing. I'm a sensitive person, too. My sister called me the other day, and she's like, you know what, Jess? You know what I realized about myself? I'm sensitive. And I was like, yes, girl, me too. And there was like power that I came from that, that, that we both kind of felt with that. But that's what I'm seeing right now, my loves, is this sacred space that spirit is protecting you and you're learning, you're following your passion and you're being supported. Like you have flowers around you and abundance around you and you feel held, you know, by spirit, by people, by family, by yourself, taking that time for yourself. Now, what is that you need to do? Okay, <laughs> I mean, come on. What is it you need to do? King of Pentacles loves to be at home. This is very Earth energy. This is Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Where do we love to be? I'm a Virgo, so I know. We like to be at home. We need to our home to be safe. We need to know that this is where we belong. We don't like having other things or other people or situations in our home environment because it infringes on it infringes on our sacred space. So you might need to actually cancel some things out or tell people to get out. Or you need to claim your space again. Or maybe, again, with the Knight of Pentacles, and the King of Pentacles, maybe your home environment is now going to be your work environment. So that's something I'm thinking that I'm seeing for you guys is going back into the home and manifesting security for yourself, manifesting safety and your sacred space and making it comfortable for you, making it beautiful. I'm seeing a lot of beauty here. And spirit is really working to help you to shed out these old things, this things that's been cluttering your space, or this old job that you've been working in corporate America, sitting at a cubicle and freezing your ass off, when you should be working at home with your socks on, with a cup of tea, doing what it is that you do best to serve the, the world, to serve population in the way that you know, you, you're called to, and it's a step-by-step -step process. And I don't know why, but I'm seeing a tattoo right here on your wrist. I don't know why, like a reminder. Maybe it's like breathe or something like that. Like something like that that's, you know, something that you put on yourself to remind you. I don't know why that just came through, but it's something that you, like you have a mantra, maybe it's a tattoo, or maybe it's something that you write, or that it's like embedded in within you, or a, a, a bracelet or something that's like breathe, or um, prosperity, or abundance, or goddess, that's there that you wear to remind yourself of your power. I don't know what, I don't know why that just came through, but it's like, or maybe it's like you buy something, like an amulet or something that you wear that reminds you of where it is that you're going to inspire you, to empower you. I don't know. That's what it is that I'm getting. But also this is just taking your time and luxuriating and enjoying. And as I'm saying that, I'm realizing how hungry I am. <laughs> 
speaking of hot cups of tea, socks, and books, and blankets, that's going to be my, that's kind of where I've been at lately. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for my number fours. All right, you guys, so that's what it is that I'm seeing for all of us. That's what it is that we're manifesting. Those are the messages that we need to hear, and that's what it is that you need to do. If you love this video, please subscribe. Honestly, all the subscriptions make a difference. I am constantly push, putting out constant. Um, content, especially as I'm sitting at my altar. You guys know I share so much of what comes through to me. I share that with you. And if you're subscribed, if you turn on those notifications, you'll receive those messages and, then, and those moments of empowerment that will help you, help to guide you throughout this life. And then um, also you can, you know, share in with the tribe, the Bahati Vibe tribe. We're always sharing our experiences and learning and growing from each other. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!